Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Up is Austin, Texas, the live music capital of the world. Ruiz is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 21. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. First and 10. Ball on the 34. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 37. Quick strike and he drops it. The Longhorns always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play.
from their own 37-yard line. It's third down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Worthy was the intended receiver on that pass. And that will make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Green, the return man. Mississippi State's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had the crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. We'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. Very well-designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28. Here we go. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 46-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. made at about the 45 gain of nine on the play that'll make it second in inches Taken down around the 27-yard line. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's a third first down that they've picked up on this drive. From the 27-yard line, first down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Doesn't get there. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything that they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give his receiver a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the catch. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 24-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. And he is drilled at the 32. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Mississippi State is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's good! Well, I guess they're not going to sneak anything by the return team. They're looking for an onside kick. The Bulldogs are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Nice run there as they work the outside. 
That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Three down, three down. My 14, my 14. Check, 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 check. Eagle. Slam. Eagle. Slam. Check, 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 check. Spider. Slam. Spider. Slam. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. More the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Scrambling. Fires incomplete. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. That brings up fourth and three. Green will be the return man. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. Ready, Line in. And he's tackled around the 31-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Brings up second and one. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. He lateral. Runs outside for a nice game. So that's a seven-yard run there for the running back. It's a nice option play here by the offense. Running back took the pitch and got a nice gain to move the chains. Seven yards there on the option pitch to the halfback. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. First down. Hey, defense. Hey, defense. Let's go. Hey, check my. Quick throw. And down he goes, around the 49-yard line. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. It's second and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Mississippi State is up a field goal. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. receiver and he can't make the grab perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty that was a solid play that'll make it fourth and ten Dude. 
Robinson is the deep man awaiting the return. They'll bring him down at the 28. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but if you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. run up the middle. I don't really know what this one's for. Let's find out. Holding offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting down. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So it's first down and an eternity. Three down, three down. Mike 14, Mike 14. Ready. Green 19. This is incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second and long. Second and long. Ball on the 21. They spread the field Mike in the gun 14. with five wide receivers. Ready. And he's immediately tackled. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 3-0, Mississippi State. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From the 47-yard line, second down. Makes his way to about the 38. Mike 14. Mike 14. Set. Gray 95. Gray 95. They'll bring him down at the 21 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21. Halfback calls it in past the marker. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. and goal from the two and they can smell the end zone and the goal line defense digging in here Ready. Line 80. he's tackled at about the five yard line call it a loss of three yards on the play that brings up second and goal And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hey, we have right, tight right. Three down, three down. Three down. Ready. Relax. I got one, I got one. Easy, 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 easy. Over, hey, over, easy, over. Easy, easy, over, over, easy, 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 easy. Over, hey, over, over. Oh. Got a man, open, touchdown. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Bulldogs entered the game ranked seventh in the country, but under immense pressure to hold their lofty spot in the rankings. And for Georgia, those two guys on the same wavelength. A perfect connection and a touchdown. Texas gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First and 10, ball on the 37. And they got him for a loss. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From the 46-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 43. Come out in a five-wide set. He's at the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 21. That makes it first and 10. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop around the 14-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Tins the mic, tins the mic. Set, red 18. They go with a run. They'll knock him down for a loss. This play is number eight on the drive. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws it to the outside. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Shift, shift. And he hits him hard at the 10. Sacks the quarterback. Loss of seven yards on the play. That brings up second and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Tackles around the four-yard line. Gain of six on the play. That makes it third and goal. The defense is trying to protect their lead, but the offense is threatening. It's third down from the three. End zone touchdown.
trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. An 11 play, 75 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 10 7. Crawford takes it at the four, heading for the corner. Across the 30. Tackle at the 47 yard line. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Taken down around the 36 yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36 yard line. They get him in the backfield for a loss. It's never good for a back's That's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 39. He can't get away from the pressure. That is a loss of nine on the play. Third down. So the sack makes this third and very long. Six man. Girls, so an empty girls, backfield with five wide receivers. Set, wide 80. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Fourth down. Check, check, check. Omaha, Omaha. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. He heaves it deep. It's going the other way. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better catch. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Mississippi State holds a field goal lead. his receiver and that's a first down how about the big fellas up front this line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it and they intercept it the sophomore safety It's halftime, and we've got a close one. Mississippi State's got a three-point lead. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And down he goes at the 18-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Check 
gets out to about the 21. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 21 yard line. Marks gets the call again. Tackle made at the 22 yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Mississippi State is up by three. He wants it all going long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Heath was the intended target. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Day awaits the snap. Robinson takes it at the 43. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Right, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That was a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Mike 14. Mike 14. Here we go. Green 90. Green 90. Slings it out and it gets tips. That was a nice, nice play to close on the ball like that. You can't teach that kind of reaction. It's just natural ability. Third down and they need to get it down to the 35. The defender had it and then dropped it. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. Green, back deep to return. He punts this one high in the air. The Longhorns have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Mississippi State is up a field goal. He's under some heat. He lets it fly. From their own 21 yard line, it's second down. He's into the open field. And he's taken down right around the 44 yard line. First down.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Gain of 16 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. My 10. My 10. My 10. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 42. Brought down around the 25-yard line. That's good for a game of 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mississippi State has a three-point lead. Ready, ready he's scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. With the sack. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 28-yard line, second down. Mike check, 33. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Loose football, and the ball bounces out of bounds. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll drop him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the 15-yard line, second down. Complete, he's got room. He's tackled at the six. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Tenth play of the drive. Stop behind the line. When you only need a couple of yards on third down, as a quarterback, you always want to try to find a receiver to throw to that's across the first down marker. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the 2. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. The Bulldogs continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's on the run. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. their own 46 yard line first down gets it he's in space and down he goes right around the 32 yard line
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 32. Make the stop at the 20 yard line. From the 20 yard line, first down. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. It's second and 13. Ball in the 23. at the 14. They go with a run and that'll be a gain of nine. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. You must be, you must be getting tired of seeing me. 14's the mic. 14's the mic. Set. Green 88. Green 88. Big play, and it's first and goal. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. Mississippi State leads it 13 7. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. My 14, my 14, ready! 180, 180! Check, 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 26, check, Ready! Touchdown, and we're all tied up. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He hits the PAT. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Bulldogs roll into today's game ranked number seven in the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. A tight game. Two relentless fighters exchanging blows. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. the middle for a nice game. The fullback rumbles for a six-yard gain on the option. That makes it third and three. Swings it out left to the halfback. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Guys, it's game situation. Let's go. Run, 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 run. 
He gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. receiver tackle made at about the 27 yard line call it a gain of 14 yards first down first down 10 to go ball on the 27 just throws this one away great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now i think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled inside the 10 big play there and now they're looking at first and goal that makes it first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, check my 33. Check my Set up. And they got him for a loss. This guy's out of his stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. Man left, man left. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the nine-yard line. hit and taken down. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown! And that gives them the lead. The quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Here we go. Oh, and a huge drop by the wideout here in the fourth quarter. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Bulldogs arrived today, ranked number seven. Their steady climb in the polls, they hope, will continue today. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. Gathered in at the 6. They'll bring him down at the 27. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he's immediately tackled. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Check, check. Spider, spider. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Mike 14. Mike 14. Brought down after a nice run up the middle.
got it with room to run, and he's taken down around the 32-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 32-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes his way to about the 22. That's good enough for another Texas. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22. run up the middle. Robinson gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Check, 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 check. Regular, regular, regular. Here we go. it up the middle for a nice run. From the 12-yard line, first down. Complete. Broken up. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Here's play number ten on the drive. Roger, Roger. Flight 14. We have Flight less 14. than a minute to go. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Number four, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. a tremendous job by that defense and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game and now the offense has got a chance to win it so they're going to go for it here and if they don't convert here then the game is over Texas will take their first time out of the half. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field, and he dives forward. That's such a huge letdown for this defense. That kind of conversion is just inexcusable. And this is the 13th play of this drive. 
They come out in a goal line set. Let's go! Green 90! Green 90! He's in! Touchdown! And they take the lead. So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. Texas with a one-point lead. Ready! Red 18! Red 18! Check, check, check. Stay on! Stay on! They don't get it! Well, it didn't work out here, but I won't fault the coaches for going for two. This is a situation where you need the points. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Mississippi State staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game. And poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? The Cavalry's coming. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. He was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Incomplete pass. Good effort there by the receiver, but just not enough room for him to get a foot down in bounds. One last play, folks. It's time to find out how far he can throw it and see if this game becomes one of the all-time greatest. Here we go. He airs it out. Picked off, and that's going to wrap this one up. down around the 46 yard line the Bulldogs I'm sure are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today they still have one of the best players in the country well this is a devastating loss but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them and as you said they still have one of the best players in the country they don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine.